Okay. Dann schlage ich vor, legen wir einfach mal los. Yeah, good evening, uh, Eritrea. Good evening, Berlin. And good evening, Niels. Um, I, I'd like to introduce myself with a few words. Uh, I'm a travel journalist and um, I love Africa. I have been to many African countries in the past. And uh, Bella Coola is a film production company from Cologne in Germany. And now I'd like to hand over to Mr. Niels. Niels Bartels is a TV presenter and he speaks four languages, what might be a very good reason that we will collaborate uh, and to promote uh, this wonderful East African country, uh, Eritrea, in the future. Yeah, Niels. thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much, Oliver, for handing over to me. Yeah, um, so Oliver is a, a good friend of mine. I've already uh, worked together with him on several um, occasions. And as he mentioned, I'm indeed um, a TV presenter and I presented uh, shows or videos for different platforms in uh, different languages, among others in English, French and German. One of the platforms is called Africa News Analysis and the name says it already. I'm as well very interested in Africa. I've been to different countries in Africa, among others, to Ghana, Kenya, and also to Nigeria. And it will be a lovely challenge for me uh, to promote Eritrea, because I think um, there is a huge potential. And um, Oliver, I'm pretty sure you agree, there are several reasons why there is huge potential to promote Eritrea. Of course, yeah. Uh, what I, I'd like to end uh, with a few words, uh, because Eritrea was not fair treated in the media. If I look to the mainstream media, always there's a kind of bashing on Eritrea. And I think we as travel journalists, we have to do it in a different way. We have to show the real Eritrea and that it is a very nice country. And as Niels uh, mentioned, it is a country with 1,100 kilometers um, coast at the Red Sea. And um, this country have 350 islands, what is totally unknown in Europe. And we want to change it. We want to present this country, let's say in the year 2030, with a lot of tourists and let's start it now. Yeah, so I do think since I speak four European languages, we can do that in Europe, um, for example, in Germany, of course, but also in Spain or France, of course, also in English speaking countries. And for example, since I've been last year to the Travel Expo Magical Kenya in Kenya, I also saw how an African country like Kenya advertises within Africa. And I do believe that it is also possible to bring tourists from Africa to Eritrea. Also, that is, in my opinion, a big option. A big, there's also a big potential. I agree with you. Okay. Niels and Berlin and uh, Eritrea, we say good evening, good night, and hope to see you soon and uh, shake your hands uh, from face to face. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you soon. Bye-bye.